Each week, American History TV's Real America brings you archival films that provide context for today's public affairs issues. Thank you. Out in Milwaukee, I met two young men who rekindled my sense of hope about this country and of what can be done to restore the spirit of caring about each other again. David Hunter and his friend, Tom Poole. Yeah, he was in the army too. Why? Because he went to the government. Were you there too? Yeah, he was right by where I was. Where were you? I was there. My thing was I was going to be in Vietnam for two years straight, 18 months as a pilot, and then six months on the ground as a company commander to see what it was like, to see if I could do it. I'm really bitter because of what I've seen. I wrote a letter home for a kid who lost his arm. I talked to 19-year-olds that didn't have any legs. I've watched three people die. I mean, it's not a beautiful thing, but the people in the United States don't appreciate what life and what death does to people. They can't imagine. Why did they let 50,000 guys die first? And God knows how many came back like Tom, me, no legs, no arms, no eyes. Why did they let all this happen? Ready to go? Oh, See if you can do better today. Let's get down there. The tragedy of this war will not end with the signing of any treaty. It will not end with the return of the last prisoner. Did pretty well yesterday. Maybe you can do better today. Yeah. I'll make her down five times and back this time. All right. Let's go. I don't suffer with those who were wrong ten years ago nor do I suffer with those in power who've been wrong for the last four years. Those prophets who've made a political game out of human suffering have been much in the news. But these are the anonymous forgotten victims of that game, tucked away to languish in nameless hospitals. Okay, palms open. When I came to after 13 days of unconsciousness, the first thing I remember a doctor saying to me is, Dave, you will never walk again the rest of your life. And now my big deal is educate myself so I can educate other guys like me so that they won't want to die. They want to live. I wanted to die once too, and I tried it. Now I want to live every second of every minute of every hour of every day. They wanted us to play war. We're broken soldiers. Don't throw us away. I love the United States, but uh, I love it enough so I want to see some changes made. The American people want to believe in their government. They want to believe in their country. And I'd like to be one of those that provides the kind of leadership that would help restore that kind of faith. I don't say I can do it alone. Of course I can't. But the president can help set a new tone in this country. He can help raise the vision and the faith and the hope of the American people. And that's what I'd like to try to do. I'd like to get a president that we can believe in. Well, I hope I'll be that kind of a president.